from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Heather Lee and here are your ABC Action News headlines. A Bay Area animal rescue is calling on the community for help as they nurse a walking miracle back to health. Two cars hit a dog named Papaya. You see him on your screen there, leaving him with two broken legs, a dislocated hip and internal injuries. Animal Lover Stream Rescue tells us no one has come forward to claim Papaya and those around him are amazed he survived. It's even when you look at the x-rays, like how did this bone break, but the one next to it didn't break? It's, he's an impressive little case altogether. Papaya needs several more months of surgery, costing anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000. If you would like to help Papaya recover, head to abcactionnews.com. Thousands of people continue to wait in line for their chance to say goodbye to the late Queen Elizabeth II. She is lying in state inside Westminster Hall until her funeral on Monday. Visitors as far away as the U.S. and India are now in London, and it's actually boosting the economy. They're filling up shops, restaurants, and hotels. The cost for some places to stay in central London have doubled in price. This comes as the British economy is facing a cost-of-living crisis fueled by the highest inflation in four decades. Well, move over pumpkins, step aside plastic skeletons. Some folks burned by empty shelves last year are already looking for Christmas gifts. The National Retail Federation says holiday shipping season used to run July through November, but this year shipments started as early as May. A new bank rate survey finds more than half of holiday shoppers plan to start their shopping before Halloween. But if you wait till closer to Christmas, you'll likely get better deals and discounts. Now let's check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And widespread showers and thunderstorms expected to make a return again later this afternoon into tonight. This morning we started out with some leftover clouds from yesterday's storms, so it'll be a very similar forecast to what we had on Friday, where we'll be dry through most of the day. Between 10 and 2, we could see an isolated sea breeze shower thunderstorm get going at the coast, but from 4 o'clock on, especially through about 6 to 8, 9, 10 o'clock, so we have the best coverage of those storms as the east coast sea breeze comes west. Our Gulf Coast sea breeze held here at the coast today with light easterly winds, but as that Atlantic sea breeze develops and then it moves west, it'll kind of run into our Gulf Coast sea breeze as we go to dinner time tonight. And that's when we have the best and most widespread coverage of rain. Expect a 60 to 70% risk of rain here later on today into tonight. Sunday, we start dry, but then by Sunday afternoon, a 40 to 50% chance of rain, a lower coverage, and that's the start of a drier trend of weather heading into next week. By Wednesday, we're looking at rain chances only at around 20 to 30%. Heather? Jason, thank you. We're always on when you need us. Make sure to add ABC Action News Plus to your favorite streaming device. We will see you there all morning long. Long.